I'm James Schmaltz, a creative director at Digital Extremes, and we're here to show you a bit about Pariah. Pariah is the next big thing from Digital Extremes. We've been working on the Unreal franchise of games for so long now, seven years, and this is our first big jump off that into our next big first-person shooter. With a storyline based around my friend Jack here, he is a, uh, a military doctor in the year 2520. You've been called down to Earth, which is a big huge prison facility type planet and you've been called down on this routine transport mission of Karina here on my left and you've been told she has a virus and that you just need to escort her off planet. So of course things go awry as you're transporting her off the planet. Uh, you get shot down by a big missile into your dropship and you go crashing down to the wastelands around the prison and of course the story unfolds from there. Basically we wanted to create a great first person shooter, lots of action, heavy emphasis on the single player, great multiplayer as well and a built-in editor that allows you to share your own creations with your friends. So in the single player campaign in Pariah, one of the really th big things that we wanted to focus on as you're going through the game is having new experiences every couple of levels or every level, being able to upgrade your weapons, find new weapons. We've got um, nine different weapons and items that you can use in the game. Uh, eight of them can be upgraded as you progress through. So you have this weapon select menu, um, weapon select wheel I should say, where it shows the different upgrades, shows you which ones are upgraded. Um, and shows you a list of the, the potential upgrades that sort of tantalize you as to um, see what's coming down the line to, as, you, as you do upgrade the weapons. And in addition to that, um, the variety using the different weapons, the different upgrades, we've got vehicles of course, and one of the great things about that is it of course mixes up the variety of gameplay more. Some missions you're driving the vehicle, sometimes you are the passenger in the vehicle manning the huge rockets on top. We have a, a huge variety of different settings in Pariah. We've got 18 single player missions or chapters as you go through. Um, huge variety of different environments. Some are huge environments, huge outdoor desert levels. We wanted to really make sure, again, to have a different experience, a different setting as you, you know, hour upon hour as you're going through the game and really have compelling and interesting environments to play in. And in addition to the 18 single player maps, we've got a bunch of multiplayer maps, of course, and then we've got a bunch of editable maps that the player can use our editing tools that are very easy to use, very intuitive. One of the big goals with the editor was to create it so that anybody could jump in there and use it. If you can play the game, you should be able to use the editor and create your own map. So what we would love to see on the Xbox, we can sort of see that happening with more and more people coming online, is we'd love to see these communities be built around our games as well, like on the Xbox and on the consoles themselves, and just sort of build that community through the editing tools that we can provide, that we're hopefully providing with Pariah, giving people the chance to be creative, making those tools as easy as possible for them to use. The, currently the way we share maps, uh, with System Link you could just create a map and then host it and have your friends join in and they automatically grab a copy of the map. Or on Xbox Live we have a, a way where you can just, with your friends, you can just swap your maps, share your maps with them. And then right now we're just finalizing um, the exact methods as to how you can do that, how we can build upon that basic structure of sharing maps. We've got, in multiplayer and pariah, four different game types. We've got deathmatch, we've got team deathmatch and capture the flag, and then we've got a new game type that we've created called frontline assault. And the real different spin that we put on all that is through our upgrade system, and it really makes all these game types feel really different and, and a little bit fresh and exciting. Thanks for checking out Pariah. You can get your hands on it in March 2005. Filters smell like baby shit. I'm not sure what that smells like. Like these filters.